Brocco family, it's me, Warren, and in today's Hack Make Do, I want to share another quick tip with you on showing how we can translate items of the UI in the back office for different editors. So let's jump on in and let's take a look. So I have my Embraco 9.3 site here up and running. Um, so first of all, I'm going to go and create a document type. And we will call it a home document type and we'll add a tab of content. And we'll add a property called header. That is a text string. So nothing too complex at the minute. Anyway, and, and we'll put in a description. This is the header for the page. And we'll save that. Perfect. Okay, so I have another uh, editor or user of the back office. And this user um, currently speaks English, but uh, they're moving to Denmark and um, their primary language actually is Danish. So uh, we're going to change their language for them. So let's do that. Next up, let's log out and log in as them. And someone, oh, if I could type today, oh, perfect. So you can see the UI of the back office uh, has been translated. Uh, however, if I was to create a new uh, document type, however, I forgot to set that document type. Oh, I never knew this until now. Uh, this is the template section, and down here is the document types in the Danish back office. Um, I forgot to set this as allow at root. So now when I do this, you can see that I've got the tab name, uh, the property name, and the property description all in English. However, it would be nice if I could have this uh, items translatable. And the answer is we can. So I'm going to swap back. To me just to make my life a little bit easier and we'll go and set that up so in settings i'm going to add a new language so i've only got english um, now i'm going to add danish and save that and then in the translation section i can create dictionary items and traditionally, dictionary items and the languages that I've just set up are used for the front end of an Embraco project uh, in your multilingual site, perhaps. However, we can use the same dictionary items in our UI of the back office. So I'll show you how we can do that. So let's create a dictionary item and we'll call this a uh, header. And we'll save that. And we'll call this header DK and header EN. And we'll save that. And we'll create another dictionary item and we'll call it header DESC, short for description. And I am the description in Danish. And as uh, as part of Embraco 9.2, uh, um, descriptions, property descriptions uh, support uh, markdown. So I could then obviously put the word Danish in bold. Uh, we'll copy this and obviously change it to English and we'll save that. So how we use these uh, keys or dictionary items in the back office in our document type is to update. So here we can see that uh, we have this is the, the friendly name or the name obviously uh, the alias is still going to stay header uh, so when we use them in the views and models and templates and things like that that's going to still say header, uh, but I'm going to use the hash sign or the pound key, depending on what you'd like to call it. And then I'm going to use header and use the same dictionary key that I've just created over in the translation section. Again, I can do the same for the property description. So the hash key and the dictionary key. So in this case, header D E S C. And then if I save that, and then if I browse to create in a home document type. You can see I've got the, the English version of the header uh, property uh, name or title. 
And then I've got the, the description as well, all relative or localized to my user. If we was to switch users and go to the someone at umbraco.com and log in. And if we was to create a document type of home, you can see that I've got the, the property name uh, is in uh, Danish for me. And I've got the, the Danish version of the property description as well. So that's it, that is the very quick tip. Um, I'm just gonna show you that you can, well, I'll mention rather, uh, rather than show you, but you can also translate the tabs and the property groups. So it works in the same way in terms of using the hash key followed by the dictionary item key. So hopefully that was useful. Um, go and uh, use this if this is uh, great for you. That's it for today and today's quick tip. Um, keep any ideas or suggestions for quick tips coming. I know we as an Umbraco community are fab at these little bits and pieces. So uh, send them my way and we can share them with the wider community. Perfect, happy hacking and I'll see you next time. Bye.